Welcome to Streets of the U.S. Today, I will be discussing the Highwaymen Motorcycle Club. This outlaw motorcycle club was created in Detroit, Michigan in 1954. In the 1970s, this club was involved in bombings of rival motorcycle club members' homes. The club has chapters in seven states. They are the largest outlaw motorcycle club in Detroit. In the 1980s, the Detroit chapter president attempted to kill a DEA agent who was investigating the motorcycle club. In May of 2007, 40 members of the highwaymen were arrested. Law enforcement charged them with fraud, drug trafficking, murder for hire, assault, and racketeering. During the investigation, an informant was murdered. Four Detroit area police officers were charged with a member of the motorcycle club. Their charges were drug offenses, lying to federal agents, and lying to a grand jury. David Tomlin was a Garden City police officer. The FBI got involved after his department discovered that Tomlin was a highwayman member. The former cop was also charged with intent to distribute cocaine and steroids, which were found in his home during a search warrant for the property. Brownstone police officer Michael Ramsey and reserve Detroit Police Officer Dennis Abraham were charged with lying to federal agents and a grand jury. The officers basically made the motorcycle club aware that there was an informant within the club. The former officers lied about their involvement. fourth officer charged was Randall Hutchinson, who was a Hamtrak police officer. He had been assigned to a DEA task force. He was indicted for distributing steroids. He also told Highwayman member Philip McDonald, law enforcement had a wiretap on the motorcycle club. In 2021, a federal judge ordered the release of Arif Scarface Nagy. He was the former vice president of the Highwaymen Motorcycle Club. Nagy became a defendant in a federal case for racketeering, conspiracy to murder, assault, drug trafficking, and theft. Federal prosecutors fought against the ruling because Nagy was due to be release from federal custody in 2024. Nagy was convicted of those crimes in 2011 and was sentenced to 37 years in prison. In 1999, the original Highwaymen Motorcycle Club headquarters burned to the ground. The FBI and DEA believed the incident was suspicious and believed it was an arson cover-up. In March of 1999, a prospect for the Highwayman Motorcycle Club was found beaten and stabbed to death. The prospect was named Juan Runaway Butler. His body 
had been found on the banks of the Detroit River. Shortly after the body was found, the clubhouse caught fire. A former highwayman stated that the prospect got killed in the clubhouse. It was not until the 2010s that someone told about the murder. Danny Rocket Sanchez informed the feds that Leonard Moore and Anthony Clark killed Juan Butler because he had stolen money from the motorcycle club. The two were not convicted of the murder, but got convicted for racketeering. For his cooperation, Sanchez went into the witness protection program. Moore was released from prison because of the pandemic and is currently serving the rest of his sentence at home. The Butler murder investigation is still open with Detroit police and the FBI. If you like this story, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.